All right, so this should be our second set of flipped notes. At the top, you'll need to write the title as just problem solving, or you could put problem solving too, since it's the second set. So what I want you to do first is just think about the definition of science. What is science? We've talked a little bit about it. We've taken some notes. But to you, what is science? And then try to think about how technology plays into that. And we're going to talk about this in class together. But I want you to jot down something. Give me your definition of science. The next thing I want you to do is write down your definition of a scientist. When we hear the word scientist, sometimes we get a mental image. Um, it may be the mad scientist. It may be someone discovering something for the first time. But what do you think of? When you think of a scientist, what is a scientist? Make sure you jot that down in your notes, too. So just a quick review. Try to see if you can answer the questions on this or think of the answer. So what are the two types of observations? What do you have to do before you can use a balance? What's the difference between weight and mass? And then how do you use a balance? If you're not sure of the answers to any of those, you need to talk to me. Continuing with our quick review, just a reminder that mass is the amount of matter in a given amount of space, and weight is the force of gravity, while volume is the amount of space an object takes up. It's important to write down these terms on the left, definitions on the right. A little bit more of a quick review. If you can't answer these again, please come see me. What's water displacement? What is a meniscus? Two things that are really important to get down in your notes are that one milliliter of water is the equivalent of one gram in mass. One milliliter is also equivalent to one cubic centimeter. Now make sure that on the um, milliliters volume to mass that you understand that that's just for water. Okay. Remember that a hypothesis is an educated guess, so hypothesis on the left, educated guess on the right in your notes. These are some ways that we can test the hypothesis. These will work sometimes for some problems, but not for others. So sometimes we can guess and check, make a comparison, construct a model. We can eliminate possibilities. You could consult a resource, the internet, a teacher, a book. You could write out a word problem. You could read the problem out loud. Sometimes it just helps to hear things out loud. Or you can conduct a controlled experiment, which is what we are going to focus on a lot this year. For a controlled experiment, you have to pose a question and make some observations. You're going to develop a hypothesis, design and conduct the experiment, collect your data, and draw conclusions. You should already have this written down in your notes. Remember that data is a set of observations and measurements that you make during an experiment. And a lot of times we're going to report these in graph or chart form. The next set of flipped notes will discuss graphs and charts. You will need to write down this information about variables. A variable is a factor that can change in an experiment. It varies. It's a variable. The two types of variables that we're going to talk about extensively are independent and dependent, or manipulated and responding. Independent variable is the factor that the scientist is in control of, that you change. The dependent variable is what changes based on the independent variable. It depends on the independent variable. And then we also have lots of controls and controls, controlled variables. It's also important to understand operational definitions. This is how a term is defined and how a variable is measured. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense right now. But the example is, if we're going to do an experiment about freezing, I need to understand what the operational definition for the word frozen means. What do I mean by the word frozen? And no, I don't mean an animated Disney film, okay? even though you might want to build a snowman. In my experiment, frozen is going to mean that the liquid can't be stirred anymore, not necessarily that it's frozen through and through and that it's solid. So an operational definition is just your definition for the term that you are using. Make sure you write your summary. If you have any questions, let me know.